Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is a highly requested one for some reason. You guys want to see um, all the instruments I use. Sadly, I don't have all of the instruments I use on a day-to-day -day basis, but I have the two most common setups that we use every single day. Um, now, there's a lot of instruments in my office, but I didn't, I didn't bring them all home. Um, just like I said, the two main setups. Um, so one, this is called a active setup. This is what we use for almost every patient. If they have brackets, we need this setup. And a retention setup. If a person has a retainer, this is what, this is the pack that we need. Um, this one only has four instruments. This, I believe, has 13. So I'm going to go through each and every instrument and kind of tell you what it does. And let's get started. So in the next clip, I'm going to put um, a video of my schedule on a long day, like a nine-hour day of mine. Um, and kind of you can see what a day looks like what my schedule looks like so An active is about 20 to 30 minutes, and we obviously use a active setup, kids with braces. Um, and this is just like a routine appointment um, where they come in, we take the wire out, and the doctor tells us what to do. Um, retention is, like I said, they have a retainer. Um, it probably lasts for 15 to 30 minutes, depending on if the retainer's broken or if it just needs checked up. Check to see if it fits correctly. All right, let's get into an instrument. So, active setup. First, we have, I'm gonna try to kind of go in order on how we set it on the tray. Um, I don't always organize the tray. I kind of just dump it out of the bag and just kind of go for it. Um, but once I have time, I kind of try to organize it so the tray is not like a, like a blob and a mess. So we have a ligature cut. I don't know if it's going to focus or not. Sorry, I'm really bad at focusing things. but um, So this is to cut ligature ties. Um, sometimes we use ligature ties to... Um, tie under brackets to keep uh, space closed or we will tie O four O's with ligature ties um, pretty much ligature tie ligature ties you can do a lot with them and hence ligature cuts this is how we cut those ties second a how plier this is so important like this is used for so many things um, not so many things, but we use this every day, like, this is what we take the wire out. So we'll take the rubber bands off, the little colored ties, and then this is what we use to take the arch out, the arch wire out. Next is ribbon pliers. So this is what they use to... When I say they, I mean orthodontists. Um, this is what they use to bend wires. So sometimes they'll need to make bends in the wires. Like if there's a bracket off, we need to make a bend. Um, they'll take a white pencil, mark where they need to bend it, and then they take this and they bend it how they need it. Next 
This is this is a tweed. I don't know if you can see the little like rough edges right there. Um, we honestly don't use this too often, but this is used to make some loops. Um, yeah, we don't really use it too often, but we hardly ever make loops um, when kids are in treatment, like for wires. Like we don't really put loops in wires while they still have braces. Um, we do make loops though in the lower retainer. Um, there's a loop on each end on the bonded lower lingual. Um, sometimes, once in a great while, I see them making loops for wires that go into the braces, but uh, while they have braces, but not too often. This is a distal end cutter. When we put the wire in the arch, um, sometimes the wire will be poking their cheeks, so this is what we use to cut the wire in the back. And it does make a click noise, you know, when you um, get the wire cut. These are hemostats. This is what we put the ties on with. So we grab the little colorful ties, snap it, lock it, put it on the bracket, let go, grab the next one, and yeah. So there's two of those in a setup. And of course we have scissors. Sometimes we use these to cut ligature um, ties when we are putting a ligature tie on. Um, and that's about it for scissors. Sometimes we'll use it for headgear, material, just, you know, whenever you need scissors. <laughs> Next are all these straight instruments that we have. So first and foremost is a Explorer. This is a tiny little guy. Um, and this is what we take the colored ties off with. Look how small it's finally focusing. But um, yeah, this is how we take the ties off. Also, when you get your braces off, um, we scrape the glue off and this um, little guy can tell if there's still glue on your teeth. So we'll like scrape your tooth with the Explorer and if it shows gray on your tooth, that means there's still glue on there. So he's a pretty handy guy. <laughs> Next is a scaler. I hope this focuses. <laughs> Come on, focus, focus, focus. So he looks very similar to the Explorer, but he's thicker. So um, orthodontists will clean in between teeth, not like anything like hygienists, just if there's like a little bit. Uh, we will use this to clean cement off the back teeth when we take bands off. Um, also to get spacers out, we will also use these. Um, so yeah. Next is a director. So I don't know if you can see, there's like, it kind of looks like a prong type thing. There's like two little, there's two sides to the end of that, to the end of that. And then on the other side, you flip it. And this is like a mini push. Um, and a push is this. And it's pretty much a bigger one of this. <laughs> If that makes sense, see? But this is just a push, like where you can hold the end. This, this, there's another end to it. So these pretty much do the same thing. Um, this one's a little bit smaller. And um, this, if we need help putting colored ties on, um, you know, that we can kind of direct things around, like, you know, it just kind of helps us. And this, um, so we have like, if we have a ligature tie that's popping out, we can push it down with that. This is more so used for bands, like when we fit bands, we push the band on the tooth, so that's why it's bigger. Next is a beaver tail. And hence, it looks like a beaver tail. Um, and what we primarily use this for is 
one of the doctors I use for. This is what he uses to set brackets on. He will take a bracket tweezer, take the bracket, set it on the tooth, and then we hand him this so he can kind of move the bracket around. Um, so the doctors I work for, they either use, only one doctor uses the beaver tail, the other two uses the explorer. Um, explorer, this is called an explorer because look how small it is. You can like explore around. That's how I remember it. Um, beaver tail, looks like a beaver tail. Um, director, it's kind of got like two little prongs there so you can kind of like direct things. A push because look how big you can push things down. Um, next instrument is, oh, I already got a scaler. See, I got two scalers in the setup, of course, but they are different looking. So these are the same instrument, but one just smaller. Sometimes they look different. There should only be one in the setup. There's two in this one. And of course, a hand mirror. This one's a little, it's not dirty, but when we clean it, you know, it just gets kind of, you know how mirrors get like that. So what we do, look in the mouth. And of course, we always need this. So that is an active setup. My favorite instrument in this setup would probably be the Hauplier because, I don't know, it's just like the holy grail. I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's not, I don't know. They're all important. How about that? Retention setup. So there's four instruments in the retention setup. So first and foremost, we have the three prong instrument. I'm sorry, three prong plier. My camera's really bright right now, but there's, see there's two on that side and then there's one prong, two, three prong. So this is used to kind of round out um, lower linguals which is the bottom retainer that gets glued in. Um, because when we put it in, your lower teeth are kind of like an arch. And if you're taking a flat, straight wire, you gotta kind of round it out and kind of put it in between and bend it, if that makes sense. Second instrument in the retention is a bird beak. Um, they will use this to kind of like crimp and kind of round out and kind of tweak up um, the lower lingual. And last instrument, um, I believe this is called the loop plier, like loop adjusting plier. Um, so this is what they use to make loops in the lower, in the lower lingual. Like I said, there's a loop on each side of um, the lower retainer that gl gets glued in and this is how they make the loop. They kind of just like grab it and turn it and make a loop. So, and then we have a scaler. I already showed you a scaler, but this comes in a retention setup because when a patient comes in um, and they do have a glued in lower lingual, we will take it and push down on it to make sure that the lower lingual is not loose. So, there you have it. There's all the instruments here for the retention setup. And yeah. Well, I hope that helped um, you guys. If you guys have any more questions, if you feel like I skipped something within the instrument area, please leave a comment down below. Um, yeah, that is it for this video. My phone is on, my phone, my camera is on 1%, so make sure to give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to see more videos. Um, make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions, um, about this video, orthodontic assisting, what I should do next, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.